Um, probably Spike. Because the whole thing when, uh, like some of my favorite TV, and I was, uh, I was talking to Joss about it a couple weeks ago, but was uh, wh when he was locked up in my basement. <laughs> like that whole Odd Couple thing. It was like, there's so many shows that like, and a lot of pilots do it. Like the Odd Couple is, is one of the best like thematically written uh, pieces that you can do. Whether it's the movie, the play, or the TV show. It's just perfect. And, and people try and, and improve on that. And you can't. And Joss did. Like, that odd, that odd couple pairing was, was perfect. And I was, I was saying at the time, like, this is our spin-off, guys. <laughs> like Xander and Spike. This is it. And it would have been wonderful, too, you know? Yeah. Yes. I, I just always say black guy, you know what I mean? Because I'm black color right now. So. <laughs> um, okay, so how did like the backstage dynamic change when you just had when like the power went to all the slayers and you just had to bring all the girls into the house? Again, yeah, season seven was rough for me. <laughs> you know, because then it's like, because also the thing too, it, it's it's like we're we were going through this thing where um, we knew that it was the last season. There you go, and um, and you know I wanted to be able to say to say goodbye properly as Nikki. Yeah, to these people that I knew that I wasn't going to be seeing that much anymore. It's just the way that it works. We all kind of had our own separate lives. And then we had all these, these new Slayer girls coming in who, who I think felt were auditioning for other parts. You know what I mean? So we had all of this energy coming in that I, I just couldn't really particularly deal with. Because you know? we had done this beautiful thing for really eight years, and I just couldn't handle all those girls in that small living room. <laughs> Which is crazy. Because I love girls. I mean, I really, really do. But I needed that time for us. I didn't need that. I wish they could have cordoned them off somewhere. <laughs> Nothing personal. <laughs> uh, follow up, one more. If I, if I could be kind of selfish and ask one more question. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that's, that's uh, why I said you'll pull more. <laughs> I just started rewatching it uh, with some friends of mine, and we came across this thing for the animated series. Why didn't that. Like, I have no idea. I really, it good. yeah, and Joss was involved. I mean, everybody was involved except for Sarah. Yeah, I remember getting, I remember getting the phone call, and, and I think it was, um, I think they wanted to end up. I mean, to be honest, we were all. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about money. We were all getting paid five thousand dollars an episode just to voice him. And I don't think Fox wanted to pay that much money. I think that what they wanted to do was not use us and just get other actors playing Xander. And I think Joss had said no. So I think Fox wanted to save like $20,000 an episode. And so it went away for that reason. Because I, I was really, I, when I got that phone call, I was really kind of flabbergasted. I was like, what? Because that's a no-brainer to me, you know? Because then we can just kind of keep doing it. Joss will be involved. You know, because as much as, I mean, Joss, J Buffy's Joss's baby. And it's the, he never wants it to have it go away. It's kind of what got him into this whole thing. So yeah, no, I, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yes, sir. Yep, beard. Oh, <laughs> And then, I'm sorry, and then, and then Blondie with the yellow. The first part is the episode of The Wish. Yes. With the Wish or The Witch? The Wish. The Wish. Season three. Uh, the alternate universe without the Slayer, where Willow and Xander oh, are in an entire couple. Yeah. Um, <laughs> first, first question is, how much, how enjoyable So Doppelganger, I think, was first, wasn't it? No. Well, just uh, making sure that you guys are on the ball. <laughs> Leon Superman Mickey. Okay. I was happy to play a vampire once. Um, I I like I like playing nerdy uh, guy next door. Uh, I like I like I like being Jack Tripper. You know, it's, um, 
So it was fine once. I don't like staying in a makeup trailer for too long. <laughs> I just can't sit down for that long, you know? So, but doing it once is fine. I think, you know, playing evil, playing brooding, it just gets kind of boring. So, um, so it was great. Doing both of those things once was perfect. Then seeing Willow come back, I've totally forgotten about it. I don't know. <laughs> so I am not the foremost authority on Xander. <laughs> Never watched an episode of Angel. It's crazy, right? No, I would watch Buffy and nobody was allowed to talk. You know, I watched every episode of Buffy and I've only seen the, uh, every episode of Buffy once. I watched it when it was on network TV with the commercials. And then when that episode was done, I moved on. So that's why, I mean, like literally, I've acted them, I did it, but I've only seen each episode once. The musical I saw it twice because we had a screening for it at Paramount and I watched it. So that's the only one. But I never never watched an Angel episode. We have time for one more question and then the Snoopy. But from what I understand, it, 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 <laughs> oh, wow. it ended really well, though. Because everyone died. <laughs> Which is a great, you know, they, but they were going in knowing that they were going to die, fighting for good. I think that was great. Am I right? That's how it ended? <laughs> uh, well, they, did, oh, you're right. No, no. They blew up Sunnydale. <laughs> they were running into battle with two more for sure death. Sure death, though. <laughs> but they were fighting big time bigger than that. <laughs> and then and then and then Buffy Xander and Will Willow blew up LA. <laughs> that would have been great. And then, oh, and then it goes to like a high mountaintop next to the Hollywood sign, and they're like, alright, do it, do it. <laughs> One day I, I was talking to Joss, and like, you know, when we, when we end these comic books, I said, Joss, what was the first scene that, that Buffy had in the TV show? And it was, I guess she, she was talking to Principal Snyder, or the, or the first principal that got eaten by the hyenas. Yeah. yeah. By you? And I'm like, well, what's that? I said, what we should do? We should, she's killed, but no, she goes back to that first scene. And so it's kind of like her whole life will just kind of keep going around. And around. Exactly what we just saw. One more question and then I dance. Yes. <laughs>